What are you doing with my shirt on your head? Well, I, I found it out there on the stage and I, I I didn't think you were gonna wear it since it's all sweaty. Well, I am. You know, there is a thing, it's called a washing machine. You can wash clothes and I want it back. Uh, well, I'm sorry, take it in. I'm trying to steal my clothes. And let's not let that happen again. Well, I'm so sorry, gosh. Touchy, but that's just perfect because I'll be able to touch him later. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that um, when you stay at my house tonight, uh, we don't have any spare room, so you'll be sleeping with me. Um, I think I'll be able to sleep on the couch, really. That'll be fine. No, no, no. I could never, ever let you... Really? It's okay. Oh, okay. Well, I, I got to uh, go on the class before I'm late. Uh... You, um, if you need anything at all, you can come by. I'll be in Mrs. Bob's Snickers room, okay? Yeah, I'll Bye. keep that in mind. Bye. Ugh. Hi. What's up? Oh, my God, I'm freaking out. Me, too. Oh, I cannot my God. That. Can you believe it? Shannon has been here how many days? One. And she has already ruined Ashley and Greg's relationship. Okay? She's already made me mad, much less you. And now she has made Ashley so angry that she will not even speak to Greg. I know it. I mean, God, I just can't believe this. What are we going to do? I don't know, but I see Bertha over there. Let's go tell her Yeah, let's scoop. go tell her. Come on. Come on, guys. She's going to forget. Well, very interesting. Oh, poor Ashley. I didn't mean to cause any trouble, but I'm glad I did. I mean, dating the president of the student body does have its advantages. Oh, speaking of president student body, I see Greg over at his locker now. Greg! Greg! Hi! So, see anything you like? Please. I sure don't see anything that I like. I heard about you and Ashley, and I'm real sorry. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. There is nothing you can do. I think you've done enough. God! God. What is his problem? He... He even left his locker open. He left his locker open with his jacket inside. Hmm. Is it that wonderful? I wonder what Ashley would think if her boyfriend Greg gave me his jacket to wear. <laughs> there, there, oh, Ashley. God. Gosh, it'll be okay. I can't believe Greg. He just stabbed me for that girl. She's only been here one day. I know. Guys are such jerks. I can't believe you did it either. I know it. And I was nothing but nice to her. She makes me sick. I hope I never see her ugly face again. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Joe. Okay, uh, it was nice seeing you, Tamika. You too, Joe. Excuse me, mister. Yes? Uh, did you serve, uh, in Desert Storm? I certainly did, son. Thanks. Gosh, I'm just so mad at him. I just don't know what to do. I know. Maybe it's not as bad as it seems. I know it's not. Hi, hard. girls. How are we doing today? Not too good, I see. What's wrong, Ashley? Oh, sorry. I don't have time to listen. Got to go. Ta-ta. Uh, he hasn't even been broken up with me for an hour and she's already wearing his jacket. He never let me wear that jacket ever. I can't.
cannot believe him. Gosh, I'm going to have to have a talk with Greg. No, that's okay. I don't need him. If he wants to be that way, fine. Um, Ashley, can I talk to you for a minute? Get out of here. I hate you. I don't ever see you again. <laughs> you have so much nerve coming in here and trying to talk to Ashley as mad as she is right now. I don't understand. She just broke well, up understand with understand this. You have done enough around here, Greg. We don't need you causing any more trouble. You go back to your little Miss Goody girlfriend, Shannon. Have a good life together. You leave my friend alone. Okay? But... I don't understand. I just don't understand. Hey, Greg. Oh, hi. Hey, I, I wanted to tell you that, um... I thought we had that little, you know, disagreement cleared up when you gave me that pass and everything. But I just, I wanted to apologize about what happened with the books and all the other day. Oh, that's okay. Hey, man, what's wrong? Well, it's Ashley. Uh, Ashley? She, she dumped me after the concert. What? Man, when did this happen? After the concert. Today? Yes. I'm, I just don't understand. God. She goes, it's over with us. She thinks that me and Shannon have something going on. Shannon, you mean Trisha's cousin? Yeah. Man, she tried to buy my pass from me. That's what happened. She tried to get my pass and she kissed me and Ashley saw us. Man, I, you didn't try to explain to her anything? I tried, but she just wouldn't listen. Hi, guys. Oh, uh, this is the men's locker room. I thought anybody could... I mean, I, I know it's the men's locker room. <sighs> Well, we're trying to have a private conversation. Come on, Greg. Let's just go to the gym. Fine. See ya. All right, let's finish these laps yeah. up. Oh, God. But I just don't know how, what I'm going to do. Well, man, if I was you, I would actually go out with that girl, Shannon. I mean, just think about it for a minute. I mean, Ashley was so hateful to you. That would fix Ashley but good if you just went out with the girl. Yeah, I guess you're right. And Shannon isn't bad looking. I know it, man. I could get me a date and uh, maybe y'all could come by my place tonight. We could go by to the um, video store and get a movie. That's a great idea. I'm going to ask her. Okay, I'll great. Show Ashley. Yeah. She won't be the end of my life. That's right. That's that attitude, man. Well, let me go. I've got to get dressed and go to class. All right. See you later. See you later. So anyway, I thought I'd update y'all on the information about Ashley. So I gotta go meet Joe Balaka. So I'll see y'all later, okay? Okay, bye. We see you later. Speaking of trouble, look who coming here, cause Shannon. <gasps> oh God, Ashley, so sick of that. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. I ain't got a camera that'll fit that wide, big old head hair of yours into the frame. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, we see you later, you little witch. <laughs> Well, uh, hey, uh, what are I, you doing with my jacket on? Oh, uh, Greg, well, um, you see, it's like this. Um, you left your locker open and, uh, Pat, yeah, that guy Pat, he came up and took it. What? And I, yeah, and so I got it from him and told him that, that he didn't need to keep your jacket, that, um, I would, I would bring it to you. He's got a habit of stealing my clothes. But yeah, thanks I heard. For, thanks for returning it anyway. No problem. Um, I was kind of cold. Would you mind if I wore it for just a little bit longer? That's all right. Listen, I want to ask you. I'm sorry I was so hateful with you today. Um, how would you like to come over to my friend Derek's house tonight and we're going to go to the video store for school and rent some movies? Oh, really? Uh, well, it would be my pleasure. Um, you can pick me up at my place if you like. Um, say 7 o'clock. Okay, and then we'll go to the video store, okay? Sounds great. You want me to walk you to your class? Sure. with vanilla ice, but the forecast is not cold. <laughs> Sit down. It's gonna be fine. So, uh, what kind of movie were you hoping to get? Well, I was thinking maybe we could go see if they had any clogging tape. Hee-haw! <laughs> Isn't she a scream? 
Oh yes, I have just been screaming all night. So, what kind of movie you want us to go look at? What about the romance section? Alright, let's go. Okay. Here they are. I feel so much better now that we decided to come to the movie. I thought you would. We'll forget all about you know who... What are you girls doing here? No, the question is what are you doing here? Well, for your information, I happen to be on a date. How could you be here with him? I hate you. Oh, well, that's just too bad, isn't it? Well, if you're on a date, then why didn't you even bother to fix your hair? Well, he likes my hair just fine, thank you very much. It's much better than that fried hair of yours, actually. You don't talk about my hair, I hate your guts. You will be sorry. Listen here, you're messing with the wrong people. I just wanted you to know. The wrong people. Ooh, I'm shaking. Hey, Shannon, I found a good movie over here. Okay, coming right up, Greggy Pooh. So, <sighs> um, what do you think of my room, Vanilla Ice? Oh, uh, yeah, it's real interesting. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, didn't huh? I see two other bedrooms upstairs? Uh, yeah, but uh, you see, my parents sleep in one, and um, my cat sleeps in the other one. So, you see, we really don't have a spare bedroom. <sighs> Fine, I'll sleep in your bed as long as you sleep on the floor. I don't have a problem with that. Hmm. Ugh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get in the bed. Okay, and I'm going to go get ready. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Take that stupid gown off. What? I, I wore it because I don't have any clean pajamas, and I thought that, um, you know, this would be better than coming to bed nude. Well, I don't care. Take it off. It looks stupid. Okay, fine. I'm just a sweet transvestite. What are you singing? It's from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. What have you got on now? Ah. God, just forget it and go to bed. Okay. On the floor. Fine. Cool. Good night. Good night. I can't sleep. So what do you want me to do about it? Sing to me, please. I will not. Please, I'll go to sleep if you'll just sing to me. Please, just one song, please. Okay, just shut up. God. Good. <clears throat> Play that funky movie. No, <laughs> not that song. Please, just sing uh, what you are singing earlier. Life is a fantasy. That's it. I am getting out of here. I don't care about the contest. I don't care about anything. I don't care about you. I'm leaving. What? Don't go, please. I am out of here. I am out of here, you weirdo. And take them stupid panties and bra off. That was supposed to be his job. Now I can't believe it about 58. Hi, girls. Hi, Pat. So how was your weekend? Fine. How was yours with vanilla ice? Not too good. Don't even ask. I mean, I hate to tell you, and I hate to spread around rumors, but I found out something about Vanilla Ice. What? what? He's gay. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet he is gay after spending the weekend with that boy. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know, man. She was kind of getting on my nerves this weekend. Yeah, man, but who cares? Ashley is so jealous she can't even see straight, man. It's working. Just hang in there a little while longer. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, man, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh. Hi, Greggy Poo. How are you doing today? Hi, Shannon. How are you? Fine. Excuse me, could you tell me what Mrs. Bosnick's room is? Trish, what are you doing here? Gosh, I am here to make your life a living hell. Oh, oh my God. God. Thank <laughs> you.